It's the latest and greatest in hair restoration using a robot to take hair grafts. We're taking action for your health today with how it works and what the new transplants look like. Jason Hitch is 39, newly married to a much younger wife. She says he doesn't look his age, but he doesn't like his male pattern balding. I've pretty been, uh, been pretty much using Rogaine um, since, um, since I turned about 30, and uh, I did Propecia. Now he's trying something new, this robotic hair transplant machine. First, an area of Jason's head is shaved, then numbed, and finally his skin is stretched. Then the robot takes over, pulling hair grafts out methodically. Doctors used to have to do hundreds, even thousands of grafts by hand. And we're taking a punch and we're, that's a millimeter in diameter and it has to be dead set over the follicle. And when you have good skills, this is not a problem, but when you're doing it thousand, two thousand times, you can miss some. And this is where the robot uh, comes in, is that it's very precise, very accurate, and it does not fatigue. After the grafts are removed, the doctor and his team implants each by hand because the robot can't do this on the crown. And this hair is permanent. It's with you for the rest of your life. It, it retains all the characteristics of the hair that uh, had before. And it needs, it'll grow, it'll need to be cut, it'll need to be styled. Here's a before and after picture of a man one year out. Dr. Slusher says within 10 days, Jason's friends won't be able to tell he had anything done, and the hair will fill in gradually. As any surgeries go, there is the potentials for things like bleeding, uh, infection. However, those are very minimal. You might be wondering, what about women? Well, it's not FDA approved to use on women yet, although it has been used off-label. The cost is around $15,000. Unfortunately, insurance doesn't cover it. It's cosmetic, but they do have payment plans. If you'd like some more information on the robotic hair transplant, head over to my Facebook page. Look for Linda Hurtado, WFTS, and like the page.